my name is Becca and I'm the manager of gallery activities at Cincinnati Museum Center. We are advocates of learning through play and we like to think of ourselves as a place where kids play to learn and adults learn to play. As we get older, it becomes harder to remember all of the ingredients that go into making pizza lemonade or to remember that it's perfectly reasonable for a cheeseburger to cost $30 million. Sometimes we get so caught up in how much we have to teach our kids that we forget how much we have to learn from them. In these videos, we like to set aside our organized activities to just have some fun. This is a program called Animal Limbs. It's one of our preschool playtime activities, which means it's designed for kids five years and younger. In it, our animal friends are missing something, and we need their help to find the correct wings or legs that go with each animal. If the person we are playing with wants to help the giraffe first, we'll go beyond name recognition to look at the colors and patterns. Once we find them, we'll pinch the clothespins onto the animal, which also helps with coordination and small motor development. Seems simple, right? But it's important to remember that as much as we want them to learn about their animals, it's just as meaningful to play and forget that we're learning. Remember how I said we set aside expectations? What if we didn't correct them for putting flamingo legs on the zebra? Or tiger legs on the flamingo. You've probably heard of the improvisation technique, yes and. That's where you accept a story and you add to it. We like to do that a lot at the museum because it not only helps us stay open-minded, but helps create a positive environment. If they say this polar bear has six legs and you say no, the polar bear only has four legs, not only is there a chance the conversation might come to a stop, but the kids playing might feel discouraged or even a little embarrassed. However, if they say, this polar bear has six legs, and you say, yes, and that makes them a fast runner, but then they might slip on ice. They might say, yes, and I wonder if that makes them even better swimmers. You'll probably get a laugh, and hopefully you can continue building on this creative animal you've just come up with. Another example is if they put elephant legs on the tiger. If you say, no, that's wrong, they go on the elephant. Not only are you giving the answer away, but the learning process again might stop. Try saying, that's a really great guess, but tigers are really fast and these big legs might slow them down. What colors do you see here? Orange and black? Do you see any other legs with these same colors? Do we want them to match their animals correctly? Absolutely, but there's plenty of time to be right. Take five minutes to just invent a new animal or redesign your favorite one. If you feel silly, you're doing it right. Keep going. Practice your animal sounds or show off how your favorite animal moves around. Play is extremely powerful and children need it. It's also important that they have control over the direction it goes in. Our job is to encourage their process, find ways to prolong it, and make sure that there's a safe and supportive environment for them. This is such an easy program to recreate at home if you'd like, uh, just through the animal drawings and the clothespins, but you honestly don't need it. Whether you have a cardboard box or an entire children's museum, every moment is an opportunity to play. Right now, this is my toddler's business phone. Let them be the adults and lead the way. We love to see how you make learning playful. Feel free to ask a grown-up to post a picture of a drawing you've done, of a reimagined animal, or a brand new one that you've come up with. I hope you had fun with me today. I hope you'll uh, continue following us on social media and at cincymuseum.org for more activities and lesson plans. We are a nonprofit and we do rely on ticket sales to operate, which unfortunately is impossible right now. If you're enjoying activities like this, I hope you'll consider supporting us at cincymuseum.org. I'll see you next time.